Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forever Stranded. My name is Sliced Lime and uh, we have upgraded our power. This big reactor is now producing lots and lots of power and we've also extended our range on the uh, on the access point here. So I can use this nice little crafting interface from wherever I want to, which is great. We also have this thing over here producing ender pearls for us. Ooh, come on. So they're getting put into this chest and they're getting, you know, pulled into this massive old ME system over here. So let's take a look at that, by the way. Ender Pearl. We have 88 Ender Pearls. Oh, feels so good. So today I wanted to do something really weird, which is look at the quest book. Uh, because there's this moving world section. Large parts, let me, if you've missed sections of this playthrough before, large parts of this is just broken. <laughs> But a whole bunch of these are like unclaimed rewards. I have claimed the rewards and some of the, oops, uh, a lot of actually of the quests in this, I think. Yeah, here, these ones just don't work. They don't register when I complete the task. So I can't continue. But this one, I haven't even started that one. So let's try to make a holo projector today. And yeah, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It would be nice to, you know, have one working quest. So, holo projector, holographic planet selector. Oh, by the way, we we tried to do the, yeah, we tried to do the the weather thing. Yeah, last time weather obelisk, and uh, well, I still don't know how to do that. But apparently, what I need is a weather deflector, localized weather and storm to get rid of the storm. So maybe we should try to do that first, real quick. That's iron and redstone and weather item, which is. Oh, well, this is super simple. Okay. I'm assuming this will need power, but let's just stick that on here then. It didn't even... It didn't connect to the power. Does that just... Oh, there's still like stormy things over here. Well, I have no idea how this works either, so that's good. There we have it. <laughs> anyway, yes, um, this then, this holo projector requires an iron plate, that's fine. Optical sensors from advanced rocketry. So we're gonna have to get into, is this a, this is not an advanced rocketry thing, so this, okay. Glass panes, three of those, glowstone, and a gold plate. Not too bad, let's make sure we have the recipe set up for these. That's full. This, this is missing one item, uh, so I don't know. I, I don't even. I think we have to make more interfaces now. Wow. Alright, so with a gold plate done, let's actually make one of those two and throw it in there. Holo projector. I can't remember optical something. Optical sensors. This should now be possible to make. Good. Let's make a pattern for that. Oops. Uh, I messed it up. Uh, how did I? Oh, engineer's hammer. I need, okay, I need. Oh God, why? Okay, let's just do this. I don't want this to be specific in any way. I just want it to be like that. And then we'll throw all of these back in. All right. Well, after some moving about and fixing stuff, now that's in. And we'll go back to our interface terminal. Well, hold on. This needs to go back in the system. And then actually, we're going to need a couple of those optical. Whoa. Let's make a couple. And then this holo projector. Interesting. What's this? Iron plate. Let's just make one manually. I don't, I don't need a recipe for that, I don't think. Okay. 
Quest complete, holo projector. Okay, so we've done that. We get half a heart and a loot chest. Oh wait, that's a choice. No, that's an item reward. And then a choice of broken item placeholder. Why is this thing so broken? Well, I guess we'll just pick one. I don't care. I don't care anymore. All right, so we got a half a heart and we got a, let's open the loot chest. Did we seriously just get 30 pieces of tall grass only from a loot chest? Well, okay, sure. We have a half a heart already. How do you, do you craft them? Oh yeah. All right, so we now have four lives, that's nice. All right, so let's holo projector then. Um, where did this quest lead? First plate. Small plate presser and a lever and then obsidian. Well, obsidian we can make. We need to craft these two. Back to vanilla. Place obsidian in the ground then keep a one block gap with the presser above and use the lever to activate. Fine, I think that kind of, kind of moot point though, but we'll do it. Uh, let's, um, let's see. And that's the end of that one. Uh, F7 mode on. We need some torches down. All right. So. Hold up, project. Ooh, okay. Oh, I see. It's not even a... I thought this was a place on the ground thing, but it's not. All right, so after a little reading up on this, I think what we need to do is... So if I click... Ooh, here we go. So this is how a lathe would look. Uh, wait. Uh, what, what do I have selected? It's a cutting machine. Uh, right click. This is how a cutting machine would be. So it's kind of a helper tool to build machines from advanced rocketry. Which would make sense, because uh, it would be nice to build a new ship and get out of this planet. All right. Small plate preserves that. Okay, we need a piston. Thank you. Okay. Flattening. Really? Okay then. Uh, and then what more? A leaf <laughs> lever. Okay then. Yeah, sure. And then obsidian. We needed one. Here's 64. And that should be in this is okay, and then we can claim this. Done. Wow. First plate is done. We should have another loot chest. Let's see if this one is any better, because the previous one was... All right, let's, let's maybe let the t quest mod do its thing first. Magic hood. Bronze ingot, copper ingot, bone. Ancient tome with a <laughs> bane of arthropods. Ah, uh, bane of arthropods. Pumpkin seeds. Bucket, string, rotten flesh, and this modified power holding device. Some machine upgrade. So this nice smelting, nice crafty capacitor. I don't think that's very good. Oh well. Let's throw a bunch of this stuff into the system and never look at it again, I guess. Alright, well we're done with this one. What about the next... why can I... This is done. Okay, so electric arc furnace lathe, keep rolling. Uh, cutting wafers and crystallizers. So there appears to be like one for each machine. Um, oh yeah, okay. These are all the parts for it. Make all the parts for it and then retrieve four silicon wafers. Yeah, that 
makes sense. Did I just mess my window up? I think I might have. All right, so I don't know if we need something more than other. We might as well just start with something. Uh, two solar panels from actually additions. That might be pretty interesting. Let's block a call. I guess let's just start making things. Output hatch, input hatch. Okay then. I guess we'll make a recipes for all of them because we're gonna we're bound to need them more. Output hatch. Uh, fluid. This one is a oh an input hatch can be turned into an output hatch oh and then output okay and machine structure an oak chest machine structure which is iron plates we can make those iron rods okay we'll need this recipe uh there all right so Let's make some of those and uh oh god let's craft a bunch of iron plates i guess there um machine structure should be possible now good let's make a recipe for that 16 of those okay then how is this the same recipe Machine structure and oak chest gives input hatch. Oh. And an output hatch. Oh, they're the other way around. <laughs> okay, then. You go in here. Good. Oh, wait. Are these crafting? They are crafting tasks. Of course they are. So I need to craft these myself, which means hatch, put hatch, uh, input hatch, output hatch. Please tell me those work. They worked good. Electric arc furnace. It sounds like a thing we won't need so many of, so maybe we'll just Ooh, okay, heatproof brick. That was another thing we needed to make, wasn't it? Yeah, we need to make a heatproof brick. Okay. So we're gonna need to make these more uh, magma cream and bricks. Okay. So four wasn't, and we don't have enough clay. Uh huh. Uh huh. How are we doing on water? We're out of leaves. Dang. Okay. Actually, let's just use this. Okay. So this, this, and this. That's what we're gonna do. Put that there. Ooh, big one immediately. Okay, that's good. Go all the way up here. That looks good. Alrighty, so a lot of shearing and the lumber axing. Later, we got a whole boatload of leaves. That'll do. <laughs> Let's. Oh, we're running out of food again. There's some item for for not having to eat. That sounded pretty good to me. Should look that up again. Somebody left a comment on it. And I forgot. Uh, let's go over here. Throw all of these into. This and here it will just start automatically producing more water for us. So this should be going up now. Yep. And these are full of leaves. All right. So what we need to do again to make, um, take a bucket. Oh, why am I carrying 20 buckets? <laughs> uh, yes. What we need to do to make clay is we need to take water, put it in here and then fill in with dust. Dust. We have a thousand or so of that, so that should be good. Like that. All right, well, the fact is that our clay production is not automated. That's a little bit of a problem. I need 16 now. So that's a full stack of clay. You can put that in here. We needed bricks. We're going to put this into a recipe like that. So now we have a recipe and now we can also craft them. We should fulfill the quest. 
uh, here. Oh yeah, it did. 16 out of 1. What are all of these other things? We need nether bricks, that's fine. Item IO circuit board, control circuit board, and user interface. Okay, well, let's start with that one. We need lime dye. This user interface should now be possible to make. Okay, what do we need that for? We need that for a whole bunch of things. Okay, so let's make that into a pattern as well then. Man, so many interfaces. Okay, so now we can make a user interface. Good. That isn't even a quest, it's just the Arc Furnace itself that's the quest. Arc Furnace, what were the other parts? Needed control circuit board. It's an iron plate. Slab. This doesn't seem too bad. So we need copper dust or copper powder, copper pulverized essentially. Copper. Copper. So we're going to grab some of the copper that we get. And I'm just going to randomly run it through some pulverizing machine. So maybe let's try throwing some in the sag mill. That gets pulverized copper. Okay, let's just, that, that'll do. So these things then. Pro probably need to make a pattern for those, don't we? What are these used for? A whole bunch of different things. Yes, we shall make a pattern. And then one more piece, right? Arc furnace is the IO, item IO. That's gold dust, so we need to do the same thing for gold. Gotcha. All right, now then. Make one of those patterns, make one of those items. Well, actually, I don't need to make the items for this one because it's not a part of the quest. But this one is going to be arc Arch furnace. Okay. We are going to need nether. Neither. Really? Alright, so we need four nether bricks. Tons of nether wreck now though, so that's good. There. Fill those in. Electric arc furnace. Nice. So that should mean that we completed that part. Then we need a block of gold and a power plug, power input plug. Gotcha. Gold. Oh. 38 gold ore dust. I wonder how, I wonder how our, our machines are doing. Oh, well, look at that. We're basically, we're almost done. Almost out of all of these. Cool, so we're basically done with all the ore processing. That's amazing. It took like five episodes, maybe six. I don't even know. Uh, what we needed, the last thing we needed was an input plug thing. Power input plug. Which is a power output plug or a machine structure with four small batteries. Okay. Small battery is tin plates and an iron rod. Okay, so now we can make a recipe for that. I should make a an interface terminal or whatever those are called. Uh, battery. Okay. I needed a bunch of these, I think. Let's just make four. And I was doing an input plug thing. Yes. There. Make that pattern, I guess. And then make it, because this is a part of the quest. Quest complete electric arc furnace. Like, there's no quest that we actually need to, you know, make it. <laughs> Seems a little bit silly to me, but let's make an electric arc furnace, because why not? Uh, what's... We made this all new section for us, so why not? Uh, oh, that doesn't have a... Why does that not have a thing? Oh, so after lots and lots of wondering, I can bring up this interface and it doesn't scroll, like with the scroll wheel, but, but look, I can drag. 
That's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so anyway. Uh, okay, that's pretty big. Uh, Heatproof bricks and stuff. Did I put those? Put those in here. All right, well, let's start building this thing then, I guess. Heatproof bricks. All right, so it's just heatproof bricks all, all the entire bottom layer. This is a big thing. I'm gonna need more. Good thing I made the recipe. It's gonna make 16, isn't it? Now, there we go. Shift scroll on it. So another heatproof brick here. Input hatch. Input hatch. Output hatch. Heatproof. Wait. Um, oh. Uh, hold on. So these can be either. I don't know. I th I've seen people do something like this. This is an input hatch or an output hatch or a heatproof brick. Okay. All right. And then output hatch. So I do this. And these are heatproof bricks. Okay. So the whole thing is solid. Gotcha. Next layer. This thing is enormous. Uh, okay, so another heatproof brick here. Uh, coils. All right, so. Am I out of clay already? Oh God. You know what, we're basically only using this for this. We have some transfer pipes left over, so why not uh, do this? Fluid conduits then. Let's just uh, pull out of here, put it into here. Uh, extract, always active. Yeah, that fills that up automatically because we're only basically using it for this. Why did I make this block of gold? Where is that going to be needed? All right, now. Oh yeah, that's so much nicer. All right, well, that's what we got apparently. And then we'll need to wait for more clay to form, but that will keep us going for a while. Heat proof. Bricks, it's, these are just eating my resources. Oh, look at it. Yeah, there's no, none in the corner on this layer. Cool. And then the, the coils went... Uh, copper coil, okay, here, there, there was only three, but whatever. There, now we have coils. And then, okay, uh, power input plug. That's where that went. So that goes here. More bricks. 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 More power input plugs. So two of these, okay, sure. And this is another heat, am I like missing one? Is it that bad? All right, okay, so there. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of missing something. Why, like, shouldn't this furnace be a part of this? And we'll just try putting it in the middle of these. Okay. Speed one and times ninety five power one. That, so that seems that seems like it did something. Yeah, so we are gonna need some of these. We're gonna need enhanced energy enhanced energy conduits. Uh and that needs to connect to here. There we go. That connected. Does that mean we have power? Okay, so we have 
100,000 out of 300,000 power there. So I guess I need to just connect these all around. How's, how does that make sense? I guess we'll do this. Okay, did that connect? That did connect. All right, so now we have all of the power. And I think the way this works is iron. So like take iron ingots and we'll take coal. Oh, coal. These are the input hatches. So if we put this in here and put this in here, I think what it will do is make steel. Uh, if we switched on. Uh, uh, maybe? Well, whatever, we made an arc furnace. <laughs> if I'm doing something wrong and you know it, please leave a comment down below. Maybe we'll figure it out. Advanced Rocketer, it's started at least. And we did this thing. Uh, and we can claim our two solar panels. So that's cool. Yes, and then we need to move on to the next ones. But I think that was enough for this time. Solar panels should go down somewhere. These are the... Uh, these are actually additions one. I think they give grid points rather than RF or something. So I wanna, let's see, let's put this down here. Uh, they give it RF, okay. Interesting. So I should probably have put them on the, the <laughs> on the power lines then. But let's sleep so we get some sun and let's figure it out. So let's put these just on a power line, because why not? They are not producing great amount of power by any stretch of imagination. 53 RF. What? Well, whatever. Every little bit helps. Anyway, we have an arc furnace that we'll have to do for today. Thank you very much for watching Forever Stranded. I'll see you next time. Bye!